Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. We're doing some stream fishing today at this stream right here behind me. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to go ice fishing today or try to find some open water. And you know, there's a storm that's gonna be rolling in later tonight. It's kind of windy and those two things do not go good for ice fishing. I absolutely hate ice fishing in the wind. And you know what? Sometimes you're just not feeling it. And I wasn't feeling it today. So we've made our way to this stream. We have some open water. It has been freezing the past couple weeks. The past two days, it's almost got to 40 degrees. So it's feeling pretty warm out here. Check this out, guys. So I was just driving along the road. I'm parked right there, looking for a good spot to fish. This time of year, you want to look for one thing. One big patch of open water that looks deep and doesn't have any ice and is really slow moving. That's what we found right here. So hopefully we can have a good day hooking to some cutthroat trout, maybe some tiger trout, you never know. There are some tigers in here, but they're very, very few and far between. And I'm also starving, let me tell you. So if we can get a few to do a little catch and cook later, that'll be great. But uh, let's get all rigged up, catch some fish. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off with this little green jig. This is actually an ice fishing jig, I figure well, since we're not going ice fishing today, we might as well use an ice fishing jig. We're gonna start off with this. If this doesn't work, we can tip it with a night crawler or just switch to a plain night crawler. I'd like to try and catch them on artificials first, but sometimes, especially in the winter, they just want a worm, and that's the end of it. I have my 5.6 ultralight rod with a Shimano Sienna reel with some four pound fluorocarbon. Perfect little stream setup, at least in my opinion. Here we go, first cast. Oh, I also forgot to mention, it is January, and I have yet to catch a fish in 2022. How crazy is that? I mean, first of all, another year just gone like that. Oh, I'm telling you guys, after high school, time goes by way too fast. I know a lot of people will agree with me on that. It's just crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But anyway, yeah, I have not caught a fish yet in 2022. And we're like, I don't even know. I don't even know what day it is. I know we're a few days into the year. And I know I haven't caught a fish yet. If we can make that happen, that'll be dope. Hmm. Come on. Maybe behind that rock there's one. Come on, buddy. I know you're... Oh, got him. First fish. Oh, oh, tight my drag. First fish of 2022. Boys, right here. How do you like that? I'm gonna just lift him up here. Ooh, woohoo, heck yeah. Check that out, folks. First fish of 2022. All right, we'll bring him down here to the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap, okay. Oh, shoot. By the way, guys, I'm using my muck boots today. So we all good. All right, wet my hand, because you know if you touch them with a dry hand, they're automatically dead. Look at that. First fish of 2022. Just hooked right there in the nose with that little green jig. We just gotta let the first fish of the year go. I mean, keep the fish gods happy, for goodness sake. All right, get out of here, buddy. There he is, he's like, what? Okay, there he goes. Whew, that water is freezing. Let's see if we can get back up here. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> All right. Oh my goodness. Guys, that was really stupid. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I didn't really think that one through. When I went down there to get that fish, I stirred up tons and tons of mud. And now look, I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up. The whole entire freaking stream is muddy now. How did that even happen? I did I'm not that fat. Well, hopefully the fish don't care all that much about it. I'll still give it a few drops. That kind of sucks though. I might have to give this spot a rest, wait to, wait for it to clear up a bit more. Oh man, check this out. So we have a little drainage pipe right here. And since we've got a warmer day, it's melting all the snow from the hills and just dumping it in the river here. And that's chocolate milk. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. It is really muddy. That combined with our, our mud that we kicked up, it's like really murky right here. Come on, there's still gotta be a fish right here though. It's still got a little bit of visibility, but man, we're gonna get one right here though. We've gotta get one. Oh, what is that? That's a weed. Ah. Oh, frick. Well, 
That sucks. That's the only bait I brought with me. Well, back to the truck. Mm. So I go into the gas station, right? Buy a Mountain Dew, pay for it and everything, leave, start drinking it. And then I look at the Best Buy label. This sucker expired on July 25th, 2021. Not 22, that is a 21, 100%. So this sucker's been sitting in their fridge for over five months, sitting there expired. Like, what? Doesn't taste too bad though. I'll still drink it, whatever. I just thought that was kind of funny. I don't know if I've ever bought something from the gas station that expired over five months ago. Oh man, if I don't catch a fish after trumping through that crap, I'm gonna be mad. Guys, look at this. I'm moving this whole sheet of ice with my shin. If I just push a little bit, the whole thing, I can move the whole thing. Probably shouldn't because I'll scare the fish, but I'm gonna have to see if I can walk on it. Nope, that's not happening. It's not quite thick enough. Winter fishing. Jeez. Oh, that hit me in a bad spot. Ooh, I bet there's fish back up in these weeds right here. The water's so high, and there's fish probably just all throughout these willows. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Got him. Got him. That's a good... Oh, that's a tiger. Check it out, folks. That's a good keeper. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, we're going to leave him right there. I just casted... I know you can't really see because of the glare, but this is all ice, and there's a little strip of open water, and he got it, man. That is so cool. A tiger, too. Look at that. What a beaut... Just such a beautiful fish. Pretty decent size too. He's gonna make a good little meal. All right, so I just killed him because uh, I'm gonna have to kind of rip his gills to get the hook out because he swallowed it good. All right, there we go, guys. Second fish of the day, first keeper and second species. Beautiful, maybe we get a cutthroat trout to go along with this and have a little taste test, how about it? Every once in a while I get a comment like, oh, since those fish are so rare, why do you keep them? Yeah, the tiger trout, they are very rare in this creek, but you gotta keep in mind, they're stocked. So it's not like I'm keeping a fish that next spring could lay thousands and thousands of eggs. These fish are sterile. They don't reproduce, they're stocked. So taking one home, no big deal. That's why they're here. Next spring, they're probably gonna dump a few more buckets of those guys in here, so. Oh, there was one. Whoa, whoa. My line just straightened the heck out there. Wow. Should've let him eat it a little longer. Oh, got him. Another one. Oh shoot, that was another good fish. Come on. All right, hopefully he still wants to eat after being hooked there. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my gosh, what is going on? I guess I just gotta let him eat it longer and set the hook harder, because that hook point is exposed. Okay, he's got it, he's got it, instantly. There we go, there we go. That's another decent fish, what is that? Holy cow, another tiger. Well, well we're gonna bring him over here. We're gonna bring him over here because I don't know if I wanna keep another one of these guys. Oh, oh, and there he goes. Didn't even get to show you. Guys, we might've stumbled across a little tiger hole. Instantly get bit, instant, instant, another one. Another one, oh, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. Whoa, I don't know how I'm gonna get this guy, whoa. Is that a cut, is that a cut? That might be a cut. Wow, this is a fatty. This is a fatty. I can't get him over the ice, he's so big. Yep, cutthroat, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Freaking stud. 
Holy cow. We'll get him over here. Oh man. By the way, guys, just because they touch the ice, that's okay. It's okay. They're not going to die. They can touch the ice without dying. Look at that fish. It almost looks like a rainbow. It really looks like a rainbow, but it is indeed a cutty. Oh, even though I'd love to keep this fish, guys, this is one of those big breeder fish that you want in here. I mean, that is a fat, fat fish. And come spring, she's probably going to lay lots and lots of eggs. So we're going to wait, let her go, see if we can keep a little smaller one. Oh, but thank you for the fight. That was, that was a whole lot of fun. And where is she? Oh, where is she? Oh, she must have swam out. There she goes under the ice. Let's see if we get another one. Every single cast I've casted over here, almost instantly I'm getting bit. And of course when I say that, I don't get bit. Oh, nope, there we go. There's one. There we go. Let him eat it. Got him. Got him. Get over here, bud. Get over here. Get over here. Another cutty. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to keep this guy. Perfect little pan size. He'll go perfect with our tiger. Let me just say, I'm glad I didn't go ice fishing today. I don't think I'd be having near as good a day. I'm glad I chose to come here. Another one. Another one. This is absurd. There we go. Ugh. Ah, oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> now let me address it before it comes up into the comments. I know I'm gonna get some crap for sliding these fish across the ice. And you know what? They're fine, honestly. Oh, there's another fish. There we go. I mean, these fish are fine. Obviously, it's probably not the best thing in the world, but I mean, look, grab him gently. Don't squeeze him. Just grab him nice and gentle. Hook comes out just like that and let him go. There he goes. That was about a 15 second catch and release and that fish is fine. Even though he touched the ice, which man, just triggers some people. And honestly, like, what do you expect me to do right here? It's like, it's not like I can go out there and net them. I mean, what other way could I possibly land these fish? <laughs> I don't know, man, some people, some people. Oh, that is a giant. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a giant. Big old tiger. Big old tiger. Holy crap. There's no way I'm getting this fish out. Dude, that's like a freaking 17, 18 incher. I am not kidding. Look at that fish. Okay. Come here, buddy. Nice and gentle. Look at that freaking pig. Look at that pig. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'll wet my hands. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at that monster. I mean, there's some places you can go and catch these fish easy, like just one after the other. But for a creek like this, this is, this is huge. This is the biggest fish I've ever caught from this creek by far. This and that cutthroat we caught. Giants for this creek. Look at that. Look at that. And we're gonna get this guy back because he can grow a lot bigger. I want to come back one day and catch him when he's twice this size. These tigers grow really, really fast. Stud of a fish. We're going to have to help him. This way, buddy. Out to open water. There he goes. Yes! You know what? We're just going to toss right back in there. No stops. We're just going to keep going until they stop biting. Fish. Fish. Got him. Skirt him in. Ah, ha. Cutty. Oh, he's stuck under the ice. Oh. Hold on, bud. Other way. Other way. That is the wrong way. There he goes. I guess technically I am ice fishing. Just imagine how many fish are stacked up under there. You know, guys, I think I'm only going to catch one or two more fish from here. Just because I don't want to completely just overpressure the spot. I could probably sit here all day and just catch fish after fish. I mean, they're biting like crazy still.
There we go. This is probably gonna be the last fish. It's a nice one too. Get him in. Come here, bud. So yeah, it definitely looks like it's mostly cutthroats down there with only a few tigers. There we go. The fish that's gonna end it off. Beauty. Send him back under the ice. There he goes. Oh, hooked up guys, hooked up. I was about to head out, but I thought I would just throw in one more time and we hooked up on a good fish. This might be bigger than that tiger. I'm not even kidding, or at least as big. That is huge, that is huge. What is it? Oh, I think that's a cut. That is a giant cut. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 look at that. Look at that freaking giant. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Calm down, bud, calm down. I'm gonna get you back, I'm gonna get you back. Look at that. That is a huge fish. Oh my gosh, for this creek, this is like the top 1% of big fish. Like, you just don't see them this big ever in here. And we've caught two of them like that. This is epic. I'm glad I threw in one more time. He's just barely skin hooked too. Like, look at that, I'm just gonna twist it. And that comes right out. Okay, this is a way to end the day right here. There he goes. Swims away. Wait. There he goes. Whew. Oh man. Oh my gosh, guys. There we go. You don't. You don't know how hard it's going to be for me to walk away from this spot. But I don't want to overpressure the water. I don't want to catch every single fish down there because it's seeming like that's possible. So I'm just going to walk away. That was a beautiful fish to end it on. All right. So that's a wrap. Now we're just going to find a place where we can cook up these fish. All right guys, it is cooking time. I've pulled off into this little back area here next to the creek. The creek is just over here. There's our tiger trout. No pink meat, but well, he's kind of got a little orange meat in there. And then we have our cutthroat, which is just some plain white meat. We're gonna cook these guys up side by side, do a little taste test. And to go along with our fish today, we have some Mountain House Adventure Meals chicken fried rice. Um, I just wanted some regular rice, but they didn't have any, so we got chicken fried rice there. These are the dehydrated foods where you just add some boiling water, seal it up, and it cooks it. First, we're going to boil up some water and get that cooking. So we got this log here that was just laying here. So we've got kind of a nice flat table. It's perfect. There we go. All right, so it says here to add a cup and a half of water. And I know for a fact that this little lid is a cup. So we'll put one cup and then that's about another half. Turn the heat up, get that boiling. I've got a lemon here. Give the rice a little lemony flavor. So water's boiling, so we'll open it up. Then it says to remove the oxygen absorber. Doesn't look too bad. Just looks like regular rice. I think that's boiling enough. Take our water. All right, and pour. I mean, it says a cup and a half. That looks like a lot, but. Oh, you know what? That looks perfect. All right, then it says to seal it up. All right, now we'll just set this off to the side. And you know what, these fish are gonna be a little too big for the frying pan. I'm gonna see if I can fit both of them in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tail off. Make a little extra room. Here's our beautiful cutthroat. Set him in there. He starts to curl immediately, that's not good. And we'll take our tiger and then set him in. There we go. We have both our fish in. I don't know why they curl like that. Look at that beautiful meat. I think the tiger's gonna actually win this. I mean, I'm just gonna say it. But uh, I think they're both gonna taste pretty good actually though. 
All right, so it's been about five minutes. So we're gonna check our rice. Yeah, there we go. Looking pretty good. Definitely need to stir it up. And then seal it back up for another five minutes or so. We're gonna add some seasoning to the fish. We just have some Morton's seasoned salt. We'll also add some dill weed. A little look at it there. Looks pretty good. I feel like I should have added a little less water, but it set a cup and a half, so that's their fault. That's dang good for being stored in a bag for nine months. Guys, right, check this out. Look at the back. It says, Best by June 2051. That is crazy. So this thing could survive another 30 years almost. Fish are looking good. Still slightly raw in the middle there, but this stuff is cooked. I mean, look at that beautiful piece. That looks delicious. This is the taste test. We have a tiger. That looks beautiful. Let's give him a try. Okay, that is good. It needs a little more seasoning, but that can stand on its own. That's a good fish. Now I'll get a little piece of the cutthroat. All right, here's the cutthroat. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a clear winner. Tiger trout wins, no questions asked. This isn't even a contest. This tiger is way better than the cut. There we go. All the bones come out. This dill weed is actually really good on fish. You can't tell me that doesn't look at least a little bit good. Oh man, you know what this would be perfect for? Some tacos. Cause look at all that beautiful fish right there. Mm, here's another piece of the tiger. Oh my gosh, I should have just kept two tiger trout. Cause the difference in taste, man, Wow. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of our rice and put it right here in the pan. A little fish and rice. There we go. Fresh tiger trout, cutthroat trout. It's a little chicken teriyaki rice cooked fresh out here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. All right, here's a little piece of fish and that rice together. Look at that big old piece. This rice has a little bit of sweetness to it. Guys, I am so glad I didn't go ice fishing today. I mean, I kind of did. If I wanted to, I bet I could have stayed at that spot and just caught fish after fish after fish. Probably another really big tiger, another big cut, but. Ow! Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I just bit the back of my throat. How did you do that? Oh, oh man. Dude, I bit like right here, the back on my tongue. Like how the heck does that work? But anyway guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, go down there, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. I know there's some people who wanna see some ice fishing videos. I'm gonna try to get out ice fishing. Hopefully it works out. If you guys wanna see more stream fishing videos like this, let me know. This is a whole lot of fun especially after today. I just want to go back and catch some more. But, but anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.